Who is visiting your site? What are they looking for? And how do they arrive at your site? All critical questions about your site performance that can be answered using Google Analytics. Google Analytics 4, or GA4, is the latest generation of Google Analytics that's replacing its predecessor, Universal Analytics, or UA. With UA officially sunsetting in July 2023, users who aren't accustomed to GA4 yet will need to familiarize themselves with it. Hey folks, Alvin here in Hong Kong, and welcome to APAC in 3, where we take three minutes to talk about all things digital in Asia. Today's topic, five key differences between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4 that you need to know to succeed on GA4. Within GA4, you won't see all of the same reports that were once available on UA, since Google has revamped the entire user interface. GA4's reports are structured based on the customer lifecycle. You can go beyond predefined reports with exploration tools under Explore, with new tools like Enhanced Funnel Analysis and Segment Overlap. The biggest fundamental difference between UA and GA4 is their respective measurement models. UA uses a session-based data model, which supports only predefined types of user interactions like page views, events, or e-commerce transactions. By contrast, GA4 works on an event-based data model, where every user activity is captured as an event which can be attached with parameters to describe its context. In UA, event tracking is implemented manually outside of GA, like in web page source code or using Google Tag Manager, and you are responsible for using a consistent naming scheme across your website to get clean, useful data. This isn't the case with GA4, where many events are either automated or prescribed, with clear guidelines on naming conventions and what meta information should be collected from them. There are four categories of events in GA4, automatically collected events, which are tracked once you install the tracking code, enhanced measurement events, which are automatically collected but can be enabled or disabled, recommended events, which are prescribed events categorized by business verticals that need to be implemented manually, and custom events for anything else. Using Google's recommended events can unlock existing and future reporting capabilities, so always check to see if what you want to track is already covered. GA4's reporting provides a new set of metrics that tracks users' engagement more accurately than the bounce rate and average session duration metrics used in UA. Bounce rate doesn't take into account how long users stayed on a page before navigating away, while session duration is calculated even if your site is open on a background tab. Instead, GA4 measures user engagement only when a web page is in focus on the browser. Because of that, the new metrics are better at helping you identify your most engaging content. Last but not least, UA and GA4 differ in terms of how data from multiple sources aggregate. In UA, data from websites can be sent to a UA property, and then users can create views to look at the data partially or as a whole. By contrast, GA4 does not have the concept of a view, and instead uses what's called data stream to aggregate data from your website or apps into a single GA4 property giving you the ability to track your users across websites and apps and making it a better tool to understand today's cross-platform and multi-device users. Thanks for tuning in, guys. To dig deeper, check out theegg.com slash in 3